Hi, writers. Today we're going to talk about um, writing stories, and I want you to think about your stories in itsy bitsy little pieces. We're going to talk about writing stories and um, getting all the little details about them and writing them into itsy bitsy little pieces of the story and trying to get all those little pieces into it. Let's see what um, Lisa has to say today, and then we'll talk again after Lisa's video. Hi, writers. It's so great to see everyone today. So writers, I wanted to start today's workshop a little differently. I thought we can start by singing a song together, a song that I'm sure you all know, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So as we're singing this song together, let's try to like act out the song and do all the movements that go along with it. Are you ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. So writers, can't you just picture in your mind the spider inching up that water spout? And you know, I was thinking, good stories are like that spider. They tell the small steps. Writers, today I want to teach you that when writers want to bring their stories to life, they tell their stories step by step, bit by bit. They tell the small steps. They think about what's the main thing that happened, and then they think what exactly happened step by step. And you know, writers, that makes me think about our mentor author that we know, George McClemens in Night of the Veggie Monster. George McClements could have just written, my son didn't want to eat the pea, but he did. No, instead, he told exactly what happened when his son tasted that pea for the first time. Let me remind you. So here's where it starts, right? With just the slightest touch. And then George McClements tells us exactly what happened. His fingers became wiggly. His eyes began to water. His toes twisted and curled up. He squirmed in his seat. And telling these small steps really brings us to life because we can picture and see exactly what happened in that story. So writers, I was thinking I can try this in my story today. So writers, I started working on a story about going on the swings with my brother. And let me just tell you how my story goes. One day I was swinging with my brother. I was swinging so high, I fell off the swing. But writers, I really wanna bring my story to life like George McClements. And I'm thinking he probably used the sketches of his story to say exactly what happened, step by step. So watch me as I try to use my sketches and tell exactly what happened in this moment. So there's me and my brother, I'm sitting on the swings. So maybe my story can go, one day I was going swinging with my brother. I raced over to the swing and I plopped down on the seat and I grabbed onto the chains and I said, ready. And my brother gave me a big push. Yeah, that's like exactly what happened at first, right? All the steps that we took. Let's try the next page. So there's me and my legs. Oh, I was pumping my legs. I was kicking them out and I kind of leaned back in the swing. So I leaned back in the swing and I started to pump my legs. I kicked my legs in and out faster and faster. And then I said to my brother, give me a bigger push. And my brother stretched out his arms and gave me a huge push. There's me now landed on the floor. All of a sudden, 
the chain started shaking and the swing was going side to side. I was going so fast. I stretched out my foot to try to stop, but I couldn't stop and I fell off the swing and I landed in the grass. And my brother ran over and said, are you okay? So writers, did you see how I use my sketches to help me think about what exactly happened so that just like George McClements, I can tell my story in small steps. I can say what happened bit by bit. So writers, as you're working today on your stories, another thing we might, might want to think about to bring our stories to life is trying to tell our stories in small steps, saying exactly what happened bit by bit. We can think about the main thing and write exactly what happened step by step. Are you guys ready to get started? Off you go. Boys and girls, as Lisa was talking and teaching the lesson, I was thinking to myself, gosh, what small moment can I tell? And then I was like, oh my gosh, this weekend I got all of my Halloween decorations out. I was trying to think of all the small steps that I did when getting my Halloween decorations out. So I'm going to show you what I probably would have written or I would have written. So I would have dated my paper, October 21st, 2020. I'm going to sketch out and think about what I would have written. I went downstairs to get out my Halloween box. The box was way up high on the shelf. It was super heavy, but I had to pull it down all by myself and carry it up the steps. I brought my box into the living room. I pulled out all of the decorations. Anna helped me look at all of them. We have so many cute things. I decided where the perfect place for everything was. We put the fun orange lights on the mantle by the fireplace. I put the spooky ghost in the bathroom. I put the pumpkins in the picture frames on the fireplace wall. In the front entrance, I added all of the cute Halloween decorations. My house is ready for Halloween. So boys and girls, that's what I want you today to do today. I want you to think of a small moment, and I want you to sketch out a story, and I want you to think of all of the itsy-bitsy details in your story, all of the little things that led up to the end of your story. What happened, to, what happened first? Then what happened next? What happened at the end? And I want you to include all of those details in your story. So boys and girls, go ahead and write a small moment story today, thinking about all the small details and adding all of those itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy little things into your story. Uh, you can read it to your teacher on Seesaw or send them a picture. And if you're in person, well, teachers will be there reading it with you. Okay, have a great day.